Well, what would you think if your next door neighbour was flying a Nazi flag? I know that yesterday on Drive, Sammy Shah talked about uh, an issue that's arisen at the Maribyrnong Aquatic Centre where apparently there's a regular patron there who's been flaunting a rather prominent Nazi symbol tattoo. Well, now it appears that there is a... A couple in the uh, northern Victorian, the Mallee town actually, of Bula, who have been fe- uh, flying a flag featuring a SWAT sticker over their home. This has caused a number of neighbours to complain to police. Dr Devere Abramovich is the chairman of Australia's Anti-Defamation Commission. Dr Abramovich, welcome. Good morning. Please call me Devere. <laughs> I will. So tell me, is it illegal to fly a Nazi flag? No, and and that's uh, where the problem lies. But before that, let me say that anyone who loves this country and who believes in the core values that bind us together of tolerance and inclusivity and respect and freedoms would be horrified to know that in the skies of our nation there's a Nazi flag. And let's be very clear about this. Anybody who displays the Nazi swastika believes in an Australia without Jews, without Muslims, without gays, without minorities. Uh, and over the past few years, we've witnessed an unprecedented surge in anti-Semitism that is really frightening in, in its intensity. And for homegrown white supremacists and neo-Nazis, the Nazi swastika is their preferred weapon of choice. And they do it really to intimidate, to harass, and uh, to sow fear. So this is uh, a battle that we have to have. I've been arguing for years that uh, it's time for politicians to stop shrugging their shoulders uh, and to outlaw the public displays of the swastika. This so so when when the neighbours in the Mali town of Bula complain to the police, uh, I know that they say that they're awaiting legal advice, but that legal advice is going to come back that they can't do anything? Correct. Those who are inflamed with uh, this virulent bigotry and they're using the swastika as a rallying cry to celebrate the murderous legacy of the Third Reich, have the law on their side. Look, we are finding ourselves now at a moral moment in this country where the garden of democracy is being infected with the weeds of uh, prejudice and discrimination. And we have to make a decision. What kind of uh, people do we want to be? Do we want to be a nation that tolerates anybody who believes in the gas chambers, who believes in the extermination of six million Jews and millions of others? Or do we make a stand and say enough is enough, we will not allow the public showcasing of anything to do with the Third Reich? So are you looking specifically for a change to anti-vilification laws to do with representation of, of of the Nazis, or is that would that be a broader legal change that would also pick up other things that that uh, people uh, find obnoxious? Well, I think I think it's a conversation that we need to have in the public square about the actual avenues by which we do it. But it's very clear that the majority of people I've spoken to, and let's not forget, as I said uh, in the papers today, this is a spit in the face of every digger. Uh, It's a desecration of the memory of those brave Australian soldiers who gave their lives to defeat Hitler's regime. They didn't give up their life. So in 2020, we would have people flying the Nazi flag. It's also, uh, as I said, it's a stab in the heart of the Holocaust survivors in our midst Mm. who lost relatives and families. This question goes beyond just the Nazi flag. It goes about the very essence of who we are as a people. And, And I'm calling when the parliament resumes, I'll be speaking to the government and to the opposition. I think they need to lock arms. I think they need to stand shoulder to shoulder and ban the public displays of anything to do with the Third Reich insignia. I've also been arguing that Nazi memorabilia should be banned. Uh, the monstrosities of Hitler's regime should never be forgotten. And that couple knows exactly what they're doing. And they're proud of it. And that, mm. to me, is frightening. No, I know a lot of people are surprised that there's no uh, there's sort of no legal framework around this. Uh, Devere, thank you for talking to us. And we'll watch with interest once Parliament resumes in Victoria. Thank you. Opportunity. Thank you. Dr. Devere Abramovich there, Chairman of Australia's Anti-Defamation Committee.